I most feel like I'm in Hawaii when I walk into my garden and see plumeria. It's the flower that I remember having a lei put around my neck when I got off of the plane. Plumeria is very fragrant, and in Polynesian culture, the women actually wear it behind their ears to denote whether they're taken or not. The um, right means that they're seeking a husband, the left means that they're taken. Probably same as the hand uh, with the ring. That's a good way to remember it. Uh, Plumeria has five petals, and so in the packet, the seed packet, there are five petal dyes with a calyx and some leaves. The, the leaves are very important because they're a nice dark green. Plumeria um, is a simple flower, but one of the most elegant ones that you can make and add to your garden. Let's start with the petals. They're, um, they're shaped quite interesting. And what you want to capture on this is really getting the shading and the detail. So I'm going to start with a little bit of yellow of the pan pastels because on the white petals you see this striking yellow highlighted color. Now as you look down towards the center there's a little bit of a reddish color. So you want to repeat that with a little bit of the red pan pastels. Once I've done that on the non-stick pad, I'm going to place it back onto my molding pad and using the loop tool, either the small end or the large end, let's use the large, and I'm going to start shaping the petal. And that's just pulling down towards the stem line and getting it to shape. But you know, if you've ever seen plumeria, the interesting thing is it looks like one side actually does a little bit of a curve. And I've created that with the, the die on the, the side so you'll be able to remember which side you're going to add the curve to. Place it on your leaf pad and you're going to trace that curve going around with your, your leaf. Because when you take and bend it down, you want to give that fanned look to, to the petal. It's even a little bit more, so when they go together, they almost look like a spiral. You take your, your tweezers then, after you've had that fan, and give a little bit of pinch. This will actually bend down on this side a little bit more, but you really want to get that curl in there. The nice thing about these tweezers is they're really at a nice tight point to it, so you can get that roll to that side. Now I've got one here that I've, I've placed, we placed the calyx onto the pad. It's a small one, so let's use the small ball to just simply cup it. It'll stand up, and then we placed it on the mat like I've done this one, and I've added the four petals going around. We just need to add one more. So I've, I've dipped it into the glue, and on my nonstick pad, I've added the last petal to it into the center. Now we can place that on our, our project and we'll just work with the leaves. That's pretty much finished except for the leaves, which are quite unique too. They're a dark green and you're going to add a very unique stem line down the center using your leaf tool on your leaf pad. Just pull down and I want you to turn it over and bend that leaf in half. Then we can take the green pan pastel and just highlight that stem line so you really get to see it. And then pinch the end with the tweezers and add some bend to the end of the, of the leaf. Now all we have to do is you drag a little bit of the leaf through the glue. I'll put this up here so you can see it, and tuck your leaves in underneath. And I've put about three on, but you can, you can do as many as you like. Creating these on one of your gifts, I'm sure people will have a remembrance of maybe a vacation in Hawaii that'll be quite special. If you wanted to add a little extra color, we can take the paper pen in red, um, shake it a little bit, and start it out on my plate here just so I know. And just right there in the center, I'm going to add a red dot because that finishes off the flower beautifully. And there you have your plumeria. Aloha.